Hello YouTube, bushcraft and survival people. I am making this video to demonstrate the fire starter that I have come up with. After watching uh, multiple videos on fire starting material and the different way that people have made fire starters, I decided to come up with my own. And I think I've come up with a rather unique fire starter. I call it the uh, popcorn zombie apocalypse cotton pocket fire starter. I just call it zombie apocalypse because of the picture on the box. But uh, the reason I call it popcorn is because it's about the size of a popcorn to make it uh, port very portable. You can put it in your, uh, your emergency kit that you put in your pocket and it, it'll fit right in there and then you can carry it with you in, in an emergency survival kit. Um, and the reason I call it uh, Cotton Pocket is because, like I said, after watching a ton of videos on making fire starters, I came to the conclusion that cotton was the best tinder out there. It'll pick up a spark and ignite um, very easily. The only problem is that it burns out pretty quickly. And in damp conditions, you need something that's going to burn hot and for a good length of time in order to start a fire in very damp conditions. And that was my, one of the uh, criteria that I used in creating this was to uh, create a fire starter that you can use in very damp conditions and still get a good fire uh, starting. Start it. I used uh, four criteria in making it. The first criteria was that it had to be waterproof. The second criteria was that it had to be able to be started with a fire steel. You don't need matches, you don't need a, a lighter, you can just start it with a fire steel. The third criteria was that it had to burn for at least five minutes, if not longer. These burn anywhere from eight to ten minutes, more like ten. And like I said earlier, the fourth criteria was that it had to be highly portable which this is because that's one of the reasons why I made it small so it would be highly portable and you can take a handful of these and throw them in your pack and it won't add any hardly any weight at all if, or, and also um, it won't take up hardly any space at all so that's why I made it small the way I made it was that uh, because I felt like cotton was the best tender out there I took some cotton and I stuffed it with a special blend of fire starting material that you can buy on the market. I uh, blended it myself and it's a special blend that I made. I stuffed it with the cotton and then I coated it in wax uh, thus making it waterproof. And so it's still, even with coated in wax, it's still very easy to start. So I'll go ahead and give you a demonstration and you can see for yourself how well these fire starters burn. You just take a fire steel, you can use a knife, I just use this scraper here, and just uh, scrape up some of the cotton so, so that it'll catch a spark real easy. And once you've got it scraped up, you can just set it down and you'll see how easily it'll catch a spark. Once I get a spark, <laughs> once I get a spark, you see for yourself that it it started right up. And as you'll also see, how, is how high it burns and how high hot it burns. And like I said earlier, it'll burn. This size will burn for at least eight to ten minutes. I'm not going to run the video that long, but I just wanted to give you an uh, idea of how well these burn. I'll let it burn for a little while and you can see for yourself how high the flame gets and how easily you should be able to start a fire with one of these pocket cotton fire starters.
can see for yourself how well the flame, how, how large the flame is. And like I said, I designed it for very damp conditions. If you process the wood properly, uh, as like cutting down to the middle of the wood or the log and doing feather sticking, you should have no problem starting a fire in very damp conditions. You can see how high the flame is. And like I said, this will burn for at least 8 to 10 minutes, this size. And if, it's, and if you're in a dry condition, um, you can cut these up, cut this up in smaller pieces, and the smaller pieces will burn with the same type of flame, but it just won't burn as long as the whole. Uh, if you cut it in quarters, uh, the smaller pieces will probably burn for anywhere from three to five minutes, which in dry conditions is more than enough time to start a fire. Like I said earlier, I designed these more so for wet conditions uh, than dry conditions but it works equally as well in any condition and as you can see it's been burning for probably a couple of minutes now and there's nowhere even close to extinguishing um, it hasn't even burned the inside yet. It's still burning on the outside. And with that size flame and with the heat intensity, especially from the uh, special blend of material I put on the inside, uh, you should be able to start a fire easily in very damp conditions. So I'm not going to uh, run the video till it burns out because, like I said, it will take a while. But I just wanted to give you an idea of how well they burn, how easily it is to ignite, and once ignited, it'll burn for a good while, more than enough time to start a fire in any condition.